I want to talk to you about the best ways to send money real fast this year, especially if you're trying to really, uh, if you want to really uh, have uh, things done fast, but also securely, you want to watch the methods I want to share with you into this conversation. The first way to send money real fast this year is actually Zelle. I mean, Zelle has been around for a while and Zelle actually has uh, some kind of st stability. You also have some kind of credibility and accountability because uh, Zelle is actually backed by uh, the top most prominent the banks in, in the nation. So that's kind of cool. And uh, the reason why uh, you want to send uh, money real fast through Zelle is because the, de the delivery tends to be within minutes. So you get uh, so the other party get to, gets the cash real fast. I mean, we're speaking about two to three minutes and in most cases, five minutes. So that's pretty good. And already uh, Zelle is already integrated with over 1,000 financial institutions connecting more than 100 million people. So that's that's really good. So the cool thing with Zelle is that you can send and deliver money within minutes between bank accounts at different financial institutions. You might already be using Zelle's service through your bank's website or even mobile app. And more than 2,000 to 2,500 banks and credit unions use the service, which means what? Which means that 150 million some uh, customers can use Zelle within their apps, uh, their their mobile app or their bank's website. So that's really, uh, in terms of uh, reach, you are going to uh, love it. And if your bank is not part of the network, Zelle is also available as a standalone app. So that's kind of cool also. But now there are important things to know about Zelle. You will need a U.S. bank account to fund and receive payments. So Zelle is a primarily uh, U.S. based service. Zelle doesn't charge any fees, though any of its partner banks can decide to. And although uh, limits vary by bank, some of the largest banks set daily transfer maximums from $2,500 to $5,000. And Zelle is not really made for buying or selling things. And you're not protected for uh, for those transfers. And uh, this is kind of important to think about. In addition, all you if you send, let's say, if you send money to the wrong person or Let's say a transfer to the transfer the wrong amount. You might be out of luck because the uh, things can be a little complicated to backtrack. And protections are limited to uh, when someone steals your Zelle account or a password and uses it to send money. Okay. If you are thinking about the best ways to send money this year, especially real fast, bank wire transfer really uh, remains one of the one of the most uh, sure. Like the surest way to actually send money real fast and has been around for the last 30 to 45 up to 40 years and so here with uh, a bank wire transfer you can deliver large amounts something that you can't do through a zelle because zelle is a little limited in terms of in terms of thresholds but you can deliver a large amounts ten thousand dollars or more from one bank to another within hours or minutes of course you're not having the minute sort of a transfer that you are used to with zelle you probably are thinking about hours or even uh, days, actually. Now, the thing is that sending a wire transfer through your bank might be the best way to send a large amount quickly because P2P apps limit how much you can uh, send, generally uh, $1,000 to $10,000 per transfer, and delivery can take multiple days, okay? So the larger the amount, the longer the delivery. So it's something to really be think about. And uh, so, but one thing I want to say is that if you have uh, the right banks, in other words, uh, if you go if you go a bank to bank transfer uh, a large bank to a lo another large bank then uh, bank wire transfers generally are delivered within hours or minutes for instance if you if you actually uh, transfer money from chase to a bank of america or chase to a wells fargo or or pnc to us bank or or us bank to truist or th those sort of uh, top tier banks or uh, mid tier banks you have uh, an element of speed there okay there is a steep fee for transfers, or something to really uh, to to be uh, to be aware of. There is a steep fee for transfers based on analysis of big banks. The median domestic wire cost for sending twenty five for sending uh, money is twenty five dollars and fifteen dollars for receiving. So you are basically uh, paying like a uh, forty dollars or fifty dollars, okay? And the cost could be worth it, could be worth it if you need to send a lot of money within minutes. I mean, because the whole thing is that. You, the, the the amount of money you send actually because banks don't charge you based on the money you send they charge they charge you a fixed fee so when you send ten thousand dollars versus you send one hundred thousand dollars they're still charging you uh, the same the same amount i mean generally okay there might be uh, cases where uh 
they switch their uh, pricing model, but you, usually it's the same thing. If you want to send uh if you want to send money real fast this year, another best way to send money real fast this year is Cash App. And uh so Cash App is actually a, is a P2P uh pay, P2P platform, right? A pay uh, let's say a a payment to uh, I mean um, a payment processing platform. So peer to peer, P2P peer to peer. And so the thing is that you can receive a bonus when someone someone uses your referral code to sign up and uh send money. And there are no fees to send or receive money. So that's kind of cool. And so in terms of flexibility, you will love Cash App uh, real fast. So Cash App really lets you, uh, lets you send and receive money from for free with cash from your linked bank account or a debit card. So everything starts with uh, you linking your bank account or a debit card to your Cash App account. And so you can create also your own cash tag or username to uh, make it easier for people to find you and send you payments. So that's kind of cool because uh, you are actually in an ecosystem where it, it's a lot faster to actually send and receive payments. So that's really good. And Cash App offers a bonus when some, someone signs up with your referral link and sends at least $5 from their new account. It has to happen within the 30 days though. So once the person signs up, they have to actually send the money within 30 days. So you don't need to have a bank account to use Cash App, that's for sure. If you have a Cash App card, Cash App's debit card, and you can make deposit to it. To you can actually make deposit to it to a fund your Cash App balance, and money you receive will show up instantly in your app balance. But it takes one to three days for the money to show up in your bank account if you choose to transfer. Okay, so it's not really things are not really that fast that route, and uh, you can cash out instantly to your debit card, but you will pay a 0.5 percent to 1.75 percent fee. So. The fee, I mean, 1.75, that's kind of steep. But hey, listen, this is actually the cost of speed. If you want things a lot faster, that's the that's the, the cost you're paying for speed. You are limited to sending and receiving a maximum of $1,000 per 30 days. Okay. And uh, to increase your limit, you will need to uh, provide more personal information, such as your full name, date of birth, and the last four digits of your social security number. And if you send money using a credit card, you will be charged a 3% uh, 3% fee, so it is what it is. If you are looking for the best ways uh, to send money real fast this year, I want you to consider PayPal, okay? And uh, the reason PayPal has been around forever. I mean, PayPal is the uh, the OGs, one of the OGs in this space. And with PayPal, you have a high transfer maximum and you have more than 400 million active accounts worldwide. I mean, if you think about Zelle, Zelle, Zelle is kind of limited to the states. If you think about Cash App, Cash App is kind of limited to the states. But when you think about PayPal, you have uh, the whole the whole world being open to you. So that's that's pretty good. And PayPal offers uh, free transfers in the U.S. when you fund with a bank account or a PayPal balance. And uh, paying with, uh, with a debit card or credit card, and unlike other providers, a debit card costs a fee, 2.9% of the sending amount plus uh, 30 cents. Bank accounts transfers are free. But when when you think about PayPal, I want you to think about a few things in terms of flexibility, but also in terms of uh, accountability. Let me break it down for you. So depending on your currency, the maximum amount you can send per transfer ranges from $10,000 to uh, $60,000. But if you're sending that much money, doing so through a federally insured bank provides more safeguards for your balance, okay? Especially uh, because you want to have uh, FDIC insurance, the FDIC insurance will protect you up to a quarter of a million. So it's just a lot better to go through uh, the quote unquote traditional route. So transferring money to a bank accounts for free takes one to three business days. And you can also actually uh, pay it for an instant transfer to a linked debit card. So PayPal is actually uh, paying you for a speed here. If you want, if you want your cash real fast, PayPal will charge you a certain amount to uh, for, for the speed. I mean, for convenience, but also for speed. It's one of those things where you have to uh, see what works for your specific uh, situation and, and choose accordingly. And you can send or receive money on the website or or mobile app on iOS and Android or at uh, PayPal Me, where you actually create your own link that family and friends can use to pay you. So that's that's really the, the PayPal Me link is pretty powerful because uh, if you if you don't want the folks to remember like uh, your PayPal credentials, just sending them the link can actually help you get paid get paid 
a lot faster. Next, if you are thinking about the best ways to send money real fast this year, I want you to consider Venmo. And Venmo actually uh, is kind of similar. I mean, Venmo is owned by PayPal, by the way, okay? And so when you think about Venmo, think about a highly rated app for iOS and Android. So this is kind of cool because uh, if you if you look for, if you look at uh, Apple Pay, you are exclusively talking about Apple devices. When you think about Samsung Pay, you are speaking about Samsung devices. But when you think about Venmo, you are thinking about uh, an app that's great across the board. So highly rated app for iOS and Android. You have free, easy, and socially engaging money transfer. I mean, here is an app that really uh, triggers free, easy, socially engaging money transfers. So Venmo's app rating are strong for both Android and iOS users. That's really good, especially when it comes to uh, flexibility. So you can switch from, from device to device. So that's, that's really good. It's free to send and receive money when you link a bank account, debit card, or prepaid debit card. Using a credit card costs 3% of the transaction, okay? So this is uh, something to know. And after you have verified your identity, you can send up to a $60,000 per week. So that's about $10,000 per uh, per day. I mean, less a little less, let's say $9,000 per per day, okay? And you, your and your friend's transactions will pop up without amounts on a news feed so from a privacy point of view uh, some users don't like it but uh if you if you don't mind how much you are sending to friends and family then uh you know venmo is for you so if you prefer privacy you can change your settings so that you're only your friends or only you for that matter and the other user you are paying or receiving money from can see uh, the transactions okay now when you think about Venmo, I want you to think about accountability, that's for sure. I want you to think about privacy, that's for sure. I want you to also think about affordability. So money you receive shows up instantly in your Venmo balance, but cashing out to a bank account takes one to three days. And you can also transfer funds to a debit card, typically within 15 to 30 minutes. And uh, But you have to actually pay a fee of 1.75%. So it costs speed, in this case, costs a lot of cash. I mean, speed and convenience. It's not, it's not just speed, but convenience also. If you are looking for the best ways to send money real fast this year, I want you to think about Walmart to Walmart. And uh, when you think about Walmart to Walmart, I want you to think about uh, being confined, of course. I mean, whether, it, whether, whether it's good or bad, it doesn't really matter, but you are confined to the Walmart ecosystem, okay? And uh, so this, this is good to, in a sense because uh, you have a convenient option for sending cash to and from a Walmart store. And, and uh, given the uh, preeminence of Walmart stores in this country, the ubiquity of those stores, you have a possibility to actually uh, to, to have a large reach, okay? And so Walmart is a convenient option to transfer cash, especially if you and your, you and or your recipient or near a store. You can send money from a Walmart store for pickup at Walmart. And Walmart partners with several money transfer service partners, service providers actually. So you can only send money from any MoneyGram, RIA, or Western Union location for a pickup at any of the thousands of US Walmart stores where a recipient can pick up the money within minutes. Within minutes, nothing, it's not, it, is, it used to be uh, within hours. But they have uh, actually uh, done a great job in making sure they have, they reduce the uh, the time it takes for the money to be available. And this uh, Walmart to Walmart was really really uh, great during COVID. I mean, during COVID, where the opening hours of uh, retail locations were was kind of uh, limited, this avail availability to get money from a Walmart store was really really good. So you can also send money from a Walmart for a pickup within minutes. At a Western Union or a MoneyGram location, real locations are not a pickup locations. Okay, are not a pickup option rather. So one thing for sure, you are kind of limited though. You are when you actually consider a Walmart to Walmart, you are kind of limited. You don't have like Walmart to Walmart. It's not, it's not your traditional money transfer uh, process. The maximum you can send in a day is one thousand dollars, and prices starts at two dollar two dollars fifty. Okay, this this is something to really think about, especially. If you are trying to get like if you want to transfer a large a larger amount of money, so Walmart is actually not the the best conduit for you this year.
If you want to look for the best ways to send money the real fast, I want you to think about Western Union. And uh, so Western Union is actually uh, offers a sizable range of transfer options. And Western Union has been around for, for forever, right? It's one of those things where, you know, you have name recognition, but you also have the, um, sorry, you have the ability to get things done faster. So on the provider's uh, price estimator tool online, you'll see that more than, you see more than a dozen combinations of uh, sending channels, payment methods, and delivery options. Send money from the Western Union website or its mobile app using using a bank account, debit card, or credit card, or send from a nearby agent. <clears throat> Sorry about this. A nearby agent location using cash. Okay. And the Transfer Giants physical network covers uh, 200 countries and territories, as well as hundreds of uh, thousands of locations globally. So that's really that's really good. Now, the only thing is that uh, with uh, Western Union, the transfers are expensive, especially compared with uh, most of the P2P apps on this list, which offer free ways to send and receive money. And only some options include same day or, the, or next day delivery and some online transfer options at Western Union can take several business days for delivery. And note that in general, when you make a transfer abroad, you generally encounter two costs, the fee for sending money, also known as the outbound or up front fee and the foreign exchange fees or the markup on the exchange rate that financial institutions use when transferring money among themselves. So you want to consider both fees to find the best deal. Really important, especially in the long run. So those are the seven, the top seven, uh, let's say apps that I want to share with you. So what's the overview here? When you think about the, the best ways to send uh, money real fast this year, what kind of uh, what kind of a strategy should you have? Well, remember, that several several different options for sending and receiving money are, are available. So depending on uh, the money transfer service provider, options that can include sending money from an app generally funded by a bank account, debit card or credit card, a bank account, you know, and uh, receiving money in a bank account, an app balance, mobile wallet, or as cash as an, as an in-person pickup. So you have a lot of possibilities here, okay? Now, the amount that you can send may be limited. I've said this to you before, but you have to really clarify things with the provider by giving your social security number and your TIN, your ITIN, your individual taxpayer identification number. Delivery times varies, okay? The delivery times varies depending on uh, the provider that you have. And for app-based money transfer services, you can generally cash out to your bank account real fast. Now, if you want like a really like a fast, 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 you might have to consider paying a fee. And if you are sending money abroad, there are some key terms it's helpful to understand, okay? And so it's one of those things where you have to really see in terms of the in terms of the regulations, you want to be on the on the on the good side of the law, because otherwise you will be actually uh, be subject to uh, a AML law and KYC laws. So AML anti money laundering and also a KYC know your customer. So that's an important element to think about. So in conclusion to this conversation, I spoke to you about the best ways to send money real fast. I give you the methods and now the overview. So in terms of methods, you have Zelle, bank wire transfer, Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, Walmart to Walmart, and Western Union. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.